C Y A. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Cyberline. I'm coming back to you with another educational video, and this time I am doing a video on something called uh, it's an acronym CYA. And pretty much what that means is cover your ass, or cover your ass, or cover your ass, however you want to say it. Uh, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because just being a realtor and really just being in business for myself. Um, the one thing that you want to do as a realtor is cover your ass, okay? And what that means is that you set a standard for what you're supposed to do for your clients in regards to whether it's helping them buy a home or in regards to helping them sell a home. And you make sure that every document that needs to be signed, everything that you need to educate them on, everything that you're supposed to take care of as the realtor, for your client, you make sure you do it. And not only do you make sure you do it, you confirm with your client if it's done or if there's anything you need to do. The other thing is, um, even though we have cell phones and word, you know, me talking to you in video, but notice how I'm recording this, have a, a paper trail. Not a paper trail with just a bunch of papers in your hand. A paper trail as in emails or a text. Have something that's recorded so when any time something goes down that you had no control over, you covered your ass. Meaning that nothing's coming back to bite you to make you look bad or that you're not doing your job. Okay? Good example. Or, yeah. Let's say you're nearing escrow and your buyers have done everything that they're supposed to do. You've given them every document. Transaction coordinator has given them um, everything they need to sign. And then all of a sudden you get a call saying, hey, um, we don't have this or we don't have that. We don't have the, conten like, the contingency um, removals. We don't have those documents. Okay. Well, I sent them to you. No, you didn't. We didn't get them. Okay. I sent them back on this day. Well, we don't have them. Okay, well, let me check for you. I'm looking, I'm looking. Ah, here they are. I sent them back to you on this day at this time. If you didn't get them, let me forward them to you again. Notice how I said, let me forward them to you again. What that means is I already sent the email, already sent the documents. I know what I did. I did my job when I was supposed to. Not putting anybody on blast. I'm just saying, and stuff can happen. There's been times where I didn't get some. I thought I got something, I didn't, and it was in the spam folder. Unfortunately, technology, you know, things go in the spam box. However, you make sure that you send your documents when you're supposed to. You get them signed when you're supposed to, so nobody can point fingers at you if something goes, if something's going wrong with the transaction, meaning the selling of your your client's home or the buying, uh, or your client's buying trying to buy a home. Because here's the other thing, not all escrows are, or not all escrow officers are created equal, not all agents are created equal, not all lenders are created equal. And this is a whole party system to make this transaction come through and, and, and work for not only the seller, but the buyer as well. And there's going to be times where certain people don't really care if the escrow closes. They have enough money in their pocket They're, or they, they just don't care. And that you will come across people like that. And it'll show in how they're being professional, how when they're getting the documents done on time, when they're supposed to be working to ensure that everything's being done in a timely manner, at least on their end. You can't control other people's behavior, but what you can do is make sure that you're doing everything you're supposed to. So if something does go wrong, your clients won't be able to hold you accountable. 
And even if they want to try, you can show that, hey, this is what I've done. Boom, 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 boom. So it can't be anything trying to say, well, it's your fault. Not my fault. I don't have control over the escrow. I don't have control over this agent or this, this or that. This is what I have control over. I can only do what I can do. And as long as you're able to do that, your clients can be mad about the situation, but at the end of the day, they can't blame you. They can't hold you accountable. And if they try to hold you accountable, then, you know, that doesn't mean you have to take it. I mean, you have to, if you're trying to get the transaction closed, you, you know, you have to deal with people's emotions. But at the end of the day, you don't have to go home and feeling bad like you did something wrong. No, you did everything you were supposed to do. Unfortunately, the other parties are not doing their job. But again, cover your ass. Have a paper trail for everything that you're supposed to be doing during a transaction. And that also means when you're showing homes to your client, let's say it's a vacant home, make sure you do that as well. Have a, have a text to confirm because I've had situations where I was supposed to show a home and the agent said, oh, it's open and stuff and it wasn't. And they try to say, well, you didn't show up on time. And I was like, show my clients, here's the time we're supposed to be here and this is what the agent is saying. Do that as well. Because agents will lie and a lot of agents, unfortunately, they're not professional, they don't take this very seriously, or they're at a point, point in their life where they have enough money to where they can just feel like they can just act any old way because they got clients in the background. Should never act like that. I don't. Humble, positive, and always trying to get better and educate. So that's that's why this is what I'm here for. So with that being said, ladies and gents. I will catch you on the next one. Take care.